Hey guys, welcome to my channel, all things GarageBand. I'm Jeremy Hawes, and in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to, first off, clear um, your cache or your uh, that new project or a recent project screen that shows up when you first uh, open up your GarageBand for iMac. Um, I'm gonna show you how to clear those songs off there without deleting them first, um, and then just bring back certain songs you wanna work on, and then I'm gonna show you how to also clear them off there and delete certain ones. So, um, yeah, yeah. That'll do. Let's get started. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Go ahead and clear. Click on your GarageBand icon if you're following along. Now I'm going to show you guys how to clear your uh, cache here of your projects you're working on without deleting them, uh, mind you. And then I'm going to also show you how to delete uh, just a certain project. And uh, unfortunately, like this is the one I want deleted. Uh, unfortunately, you can't just grab this and throw it in the trash. Um, I have another video showing you just how to delete. A certain project off here off here and and but and just that alone but not how to clear everything without deleting it and bring back certain projects um, this I'm gonna show you both so but if you want to just do the check out the one that shows you how to just delete something um, there should be a video at the end on the end screen you can check out um, but anyways so here we go okay we're gonna go up to uh, file and we're going to hit, um, and we're going to go to uh, open recent. We're going to go down to clear menu. Okay, as you see, nothing happened. <laughs> go figure. Anyway, they like, they like to make this uh, complicated. But anyways, so now, but it's worked. It's just when you restart uh, your project or restart uh, GarageBand, if you closed it, these should, should all be gone. Um, and, but just to make sure, this is a good way of going about this. But, and especially if also if you want to uh, get these off here, delete a certain project, and then bring back the certain ones you want to work on, this is the way to do this. So we just did that. That's right. You want to hear that hit, hit that clear menu like we just did. Now you want to go down to open and hit open. Okay. Now we're here in the GarageBand for your iMac. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to, where is this? Where's the song I want to get rid of? Well, I can't get rid of that yet. First off, we're going to... Um, we're gonna just bring back the song you want to work on first, uh, or you know, you, unfortunately, you can't bring back a bunch of a bunch of projects you want to work at the same time. You have to do it one at a time, just like deleting and all this other stuff. Um, so I'm gonna bring back the one I want to work on right now, and that's what it all about. And open that guy, okay? And when you do this, it'll open the project up for you. But when I'll show you this, let me see. But when, okay, now I'm going to go and close this bad boy up, okay? I'm not going to save yet. All right, see, they're all off there. They cleared off the other ones. But say you still want to erase that other one, that, the other one that I had uh, I had uh, lit up a second ago. You're going to go to Finder, your Finder application. You're going to go down to iCloud Drive, and you're going to type in, type in the song you want to delete. Mine was this one. All right, there it is. So basically, now this is simple. This is the basic. Either you just grab this bad boy, bring it down to trash, and there it goes. It's gone. Okay. So that's it. that's it. Now you've got a. Now you got your song ready. To, the one you want to work on. Now, if you want to bring some more songs on there, go ahead and go back up to. You. Um, open again, and you'll just you'll go and pick out another song that you want to work on. You do the same thing. You do this. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and open that guy, and you'll, you'll open that up. And this song, your both songs will be here when you close this next one. Uh, I don't know if that was confusing, but yeah, you'll get it. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something. If you want to learn more about GarageBand, either how to use it uh, with your. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you got. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something. Um, now, if you want to learn more about GarageBand, like how to use it more in depth with either your iMac, your iPhone, or iPad, please check out my channel, All Things GarageBand. Um, if you enjoyed any of the music you heard up through any of my videos, um, please check out my, and you like the music, um, please check out my music channel, at Jeremy Haas, and the band name that I go by is Haas. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, leave some comments. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave some and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'm your host, Jeremy Hawes. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Don't do anything I would do. That leaves it wide open. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah.